Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today is a special day because I want to dedicate this um, this talk, this session to International Women's Day. Actually, it's uh, happening on March 8, but today uh, being March, um, we're moving forward and we're, we're marching forward. And I thought, what a better day than to celebrate International Women's Day coming up in a few days. So, hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, um, day yourself and no matter where you are celebrating who you are uh, one of the things is approximately 11 12 years ago I was at my condo um, working away in after work and there was a knock on my door I opened the door and my neighbor this beautiful soul that she is comes in with this bouquet of flowers and saying, Happy International Women's Day. You know, up to about 12, 13 years ago, I never knew that women gift each other this beautiful way of saying, I'm celebrating you. How often do we stop and compliment one another? How often do we stop and say, here's a small token of my appreciation for who you are and that you're beautiful or you are gifted or thank you just being my friend. That's so important. And lo and behold, there is a day of celebration. And she said in her country, which was Armenia, which is she's been living here in the United States for many years. She said that in Armenia, it is celebrated in a big way, celebrating women in their life, that it is more important than birthdays and celebrating even bigger than Mother's Day. It is International Women's Day. So as girls and women, there is no denying that I believe there is a societal pressure on us emphasizing the importance of appearance, right? The way we look, the way we are, and um, how our makeup is, how our body is. So from the young age, we are being groomed to look and to be accepted by others. So our body image and everything becomes very important. Um, and why not? As long as we come to understand that everything you do and we do is first and foremost for us to feel good about ourselves before we do it for someone else. Right. So I don't know how you celebrate this day as a woman, if you're going to be uh, doing a girls night out or you're going to be at an event or you're going to take a bouquet of flowers to someone that is important and in your life, because no matter how we do it, I want to give a little bit of a preface of when this celebration started. It was in 1975 during International Women's Day where United Nations began celebrating this day and dedicated to women. So it was because nowadays it's being celebrated globally due to for social economics, cultural and political achievements of women, how we have stepped up even during World War One, World War Two, and all the leaders in our nation and globally 
from Cleopatra, from the queens that we've had, to leaders that we have right now, even with the election coming up, how many of our women are stepping up and taking leadership, right? So today also marks a call to action for moving towards um, gender parity and realizing who we are is, that is our beauty the color of our eyes, the color of our hair, our, the way we look, the way our body is, and it has taken on a bigger scale of saying, I appreciate me. So th this day being dedicated, I want to read something for you. Um, one of the things that I was reading is Judy Garland. The quote from Judy Garland where she says, always be a first version of yourself instead of a second rate version of someone else. So for us to start recognizing our own gifts, our own values and stepping up and standing out and speaking and showing up just as we are instead of comparing ourselves and saying that person matters more and I want to copy that person or I want to look just like that person because there is no way we can be that person, especially our youth, um, who they look up to, their mentors and recognizing the gifts within. So working with emotional weight, working with young girls and uh, women who come over here to drop their weight and they're struggling with the body image and struggling with confidence. Just a few days ago, I had a client that I'm going to place her testimonial how in less than three sessions she has found her confidence and recognizing that she no longer needs to be needy it's there's the difference between being needy and having a need it's so subtle it's so simple and that she can be alone by herself and having her individuality and being comfortable with herself. We can have that once we peel away the layers of what we think we need to hold on to and release it. So there is so much that weighs on us secrets, pain, trauma, that we don't realize how much we hold on to. So if you or someone you know that is holding on and thinks that the beauty is only on this mask, let them know. I'm here to help. As a matter of fact, when you check lisabubari.com and check my post on my blog, you can go and check my blog, which also for International Women's Day, I am offering you a gift that if you text the word woman to 818-221-2797, you get $200 off. That's my gift to you, a $200 off when you sign up with four sessions of working with me. It's, that's my gift to you. So celebrating this day means celebrating you. Um, one of the things that I want is feeling authentic, feeling that through life as we navigate, what is it that we want? Is it 10 pounds less? Is it a happier life? I think it's to feel good, to feel joy, to have this 
feeling of confidence in our own skin, right? That's, that's when we glow. Everybody wants to know that's the wonderment. It's like, why are you so happy? <laughs> right? Uh, when I look at my dog today, he's here in my office again. It brings joy. When I look and I know just for Lent, I decided not to have ice cream or not to have cake. It's not because I am denying myself. But I made a pact with myself and I said, I choose to let go of cakes and those things that grow <laughs> inside me, that blow, just for the next 33 days until, until Easter to celebrate Easter, to celebrate renewal, to celebrate this gift, to celebrate me. So we can choose. And the word of the day is woman and you making a choice, choosing how you glow, choosing to feel lighter, choosing to drop the weight, choosing to let go of the traumas and the pain and choosing you, the gift that is you give to yourself. And when you're glowing, creating that boomerang, right? So as you are today celebrating on this day, from 1975, the labor of work that we as women do, standing beside our partners, standing for rights, standing from the time that uh, women marched and said, we have as much right as men do, and we still struggle in so many other countries, but that struggle does not have to be internally anymore. And realizing that we can show up and stand up and speak up together as one. So as you come to celebrate, either on March 8, especially during March, what do we do? We march forward. So when we also drop the weight, we step to the next level of what we want in life. So clarity, being clear, cleansing, clearing, washing away what we no longer want to hold on to is the first gift that you give to yourself. So take a moment today, sit back and you can Sit and write that feeling courageous, feeling graceful. And that was the name of my book, The Powerful She. When I put 18 women, the stories of love, courage, and grace together, it's not to say that I am better than you, but I captured 18 stories of 18 women that shared their challenges to be where they are today and how they are making an impact in the lives of others. And you can find that book on my website and especially you can find it on the blog. There is a link over there. Please, by purchasing this book, you are helping and uh, recognizing that you can also read other people's stories and recognize if she can do it, so can I. If she can literally think that from the brink of suicidal thoughts to making an, not only a million dollars, creating a company and making a bigger impact in a different way from a different family to a family of choice, we as women come to celebrate one another. And there is nothing more that I can say than you truly matter.
when you know that you know so much so on this day i want to give you the tulips the gift of a flower as you blossom so that's my gift to you not only the 200 dollars certificate that to work with me so that you can embrace yourself and know that you can evolve someone asked me what is the meaning of the lotus because sometimes we feel just like the lotus upside down that that's where lotus is in the muddiest of water and sometimes i too have felt that and until we are ready either by ourselves or with the help of someone we turn around face the sun face the light and blossom to the brightest the most beautiful lotus because it is our birthright and it is your birthright so thank you for being a part of heal talk and today celebrating you because you matter until next week i bid you goodbye god bless you and may the universal light surround you everywhere see you too next week bye bye thank you for being here if you want to check out some of the testimonials that i've got click right here but if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago two weeks ago even a year ago click right here see you next time